have seen teenagers rebelling. We have seen teenagers running away from home. The other day, some girls were missing. Yeah. We also have seen teenagers attending parties. And in these parties, they are taking whiskey, they are taking drugs, and um, they are having sex. And so today we want to talk to you about the signs that can tell you that your teenager is up to something bad. And I'm joined by a friend who is a sociologist, Kabifuo, and he's taking us through the key signs, about 10 signs. Yeah, and these signs are deep. Yeah, so you need to listen to these signs. Yeah, and listen to the end so that you can take some action. And therefore, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Mary Mugo. This is where we change lives positively, we change businesses positively, and we change the society. If you've not subscribed, hey. Let me give you a moment. Hit the subscribe button, right? Mm. Thank you for subscribing. And if you've subscribed, keep viewing and keep sharing because we are here to affect lives together. Listen and listen to the end because what Kabi Thua is talking about is deep and it will help you as a parent. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kabi. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, our viewers. It's always a pleasure having you allowed. As a sociologist, uh, you've heard all these things that are happening today. What are the signs that parents should look for or should be worried about when they see their teenagers? Thank you very much, Dr. Tari. I think we need to come from a point whereby children or teenagers will always be up to something. Mm -hmm. And this is not entirely bad. It is a process of growing up. It is a process of socialization. They always want to be themselves. And the cheekiness and the mischief mm -hmm. sometimes is not a cause to worry. Mm -hmm. But it is sometimes get out of, out of the way mm -hmm. when they start doing some things that are bad. Mm -hmm. when they start getting into bad behavior and bad activities and breaking the laws, the, the regulations and the norms governing children. Mm -hmm. And the first sign we want to talk about is that a teen that is up to some mischief and something bad will start questioning and interrogating the invisibility of the parent. Mm -hmm. This one is actually a hidden excuse to rebel. Mm -hmm. They want a kind of justification mm -hmm. to do things they want to do because they know they are bad. They know they are bad because there are certain laws around them and uh, they want to justify themselves for breaking that law. Mm -hmm. I say, and I, I want to posit that children are full of energy and full of curiosity and full of desire, mm -hmm. like a car at top speed. Mm -hmm. Any error is costly, is drastic, mm -hmm. is deadly. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, they, they have no capacity to hold suppression for long. Mm -hmm. They would rather not have speed bumps in their journey, in their express highway. And for that reason, they begin to do certain things. The psychological disposition of a teen mm -hmm. is a person who is big enough, who can understand things, who can have their own mind, who can make decisions. Mm -hmm. And physically, they have all the attributes of, the, of an adult. They are mm -hmm. tall, they are beautiful, they are handsome, they are clever, they are smart. They are winners, they win, they come with the trophies. Mm -hmm. Yet, they are still two children. They are still mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. That creates a bit of a disconnect with the parents 
because the model they have been used to is to the parent is right, is invisible, knows everything, is very rich, is very righteous, is very moral, is very saved, is very straightforward, they can narrow. And this is the virtue they have been, the position, the pedestal the parent has been studying on to be able to moralize on the children. Mm-hmm. Rightly so, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't be the judge. Mm-hmm. Now, the children have learned that the parents actually not all this. Mm-hmm. And this brings in them a desire to rebel, a desire to challenge. It mm-hmm. becomes like a vision in a volcanic mountain, mm-hmm. and which will allow the volcano, which is the teen and their hormones and the society drastic things to erupt and they will use that as an excuse they know they're doing something wrong mm. but want to use that as an excuse that's mm-hmm. the first sign to mm-hmm. start questioning why mm. must i follow this law mm-hmm. why must must i come early why must i not do this yet this person is doing it mm. and this person is a parent mm-hmm. not knowing there is adult activities bring adult consequences. <laughs> the second sign, mm-hmm. which is associated with drugs and substances abuse, mm-hmm. is an acute need for financial resources. Mm-hmm. And this is usually followed up with an explained allocation of resources mm-hmm. and the reallocation of financial resources. Mm-hmm. You give money regularly for this activity. Mm-hmm. Let's say pizza on Tuesday, mm-hmm. terrific Tuesday. You always give a certain amount. You get mm-hmm. your pizzas and your drinks. Mm-hmm. Now, these resources will be reallocated to something unexplained, something you don't know, something you might not even approve. Mm-hmm. That is another sign. Secondly, there is a a behavioral expression of withdrawal. Mm-hmm. They want to be alone, mm-hmm. followed by they can become hyperactive. Mm-hmm. Drugs may work two ways. They're either hyper over doing things or hypo under doing things. They're just there mm-hmm. for hours on end, locked up physically and uh, socially. They're just there themselves. Mm-hmm. There are teens who can just stay the whole day, the whole night alone, not talking, not doing the normal things that they do. Mm-hmm. That is a sign that this person is up to drug mischief. They have mm-hmm. tasted drugs and they are abusing drugs. Mm-hmm. And f- on this point, mm-hmm. I want us to look at it in this way. Mm-hmm. Drugs have transformed adults into mm-hmm. negativities, into cabbages, into write-offs, mm-hmm. into social misfits. Mm-hmm. How much more can they do to a team? One activity with the drugs is enough to get a child hooked into this behavior and to see the issues I'm talking about expressing. One event, one night, one weekend is enough. Mm-hmm. to see a child expressing this behavior. Mm-hmm. We also talk about uh, pornography mm-hmm. and uh, the signs that a child is into pornography. Mm-hmm. They also desire seclusion mm-hmm. and they develop certain weird behaviors, mm-hmm. even uh, towards respect to the opposite gender, respect to language used and expressions. They can say, they can use vulgar words so easily, so ladily. Mm -hmm. They want to be alone, locked up in their rooms, and they always want to be alone with their own gadgets. Mm -hmm. Note that this is a behavior that is traditionally learned in phases, step by step, with different actors playing different roles, before it gets to the time of the outside world and the media influences and uh, media activities across the globe. Mm -hmm. These days, these people will always get it by the click of a button. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. In other words, they have skipped so many phases of mm-hmm. an activity. Mm-hmm. They're already at the extreme end of sexual activities, that is learning and watching and practicing, mm-hmm. before they have gone through the other phases that are supposed to prepare them, even to handle them, mm-hmm. and the consequences they are, they are And this now takes us to the next most important thing mm-hmm. about sexual activities. Mm-hmm. It is very important to us because these activities is not just teens towards teens, it is mm-hmm. teens with adults. They are, they are adults in the picture. So we have an adult input and mm-hmm. children input. Mm-hmm. It becomes very difficult. And how you know about, uh, about a child mm-hmm. that is involved, is now trying to be involved in this sexual behavior they start developing excitement towards free movement. In other words, they're excited to be out and about without you. Okay. They want, they want to be out there without their parents, mm-hmm. without the clock, without the laws, they just their own time. Mm-hmm. And this now brings us to the issue of parties. They want to be in house parties. They want to be in their own groups. Mm-hmm. They like spending so much time out of the purview of laws and regulations and the rules of the family. Mm-hmm. They always, if they, you go to church on Sundays, mm-hmm. they, they might look for a reason to go to church earlier than anyone else, mm-hmm. so that between home and church, there is enough time and space to do some things. And before the church time, they always trying to do things, and they also want to leave late. Mm-hmm. In other words, they want to, to maximize the use of Sunday. They, they want to always have time alone. Mm-hmm. They want to shop alone. Mm-hmm. They want to go to the malls alone. They want to go, to, they now start pretending to be adults. Mm-hmm. This will also come with something positive, there's a positive sign that they start developing a guilt conscience. Mm-hmm. Their conscience become guilty because deep down, they have not reached there. Mm-hmm. It is not something that they really believe in. Mm-hmm. It is something that has confronted them. Mm-hmm. It's just like an, an addicted, uh, like an adult addicted to a substance. They always give, feel guilty at some point. They even mm-hmm. pretend they have stopped, but they still no, they are like captive, like prisoners to this activity. Mm-hmm. And this prisoner child, sometimes the pendulum can swing towards normalcy, and they want to be normal, they want to be sorry, and that guilt trips start happening. Mm-hmm. Fine, we, let's, now that, when you talk about peers, mm-hmm. let's now move to the, the, the peer chaos and fear delinquency. Mm -hmm. This is chaotic situation brought about by peer interaction Mm -hmm. that sometimes can go to the level of delinquency, which is criminal activities. Mm -hmm. And this one is depicted by this, the sign where a child starts pretending to be an adult. Mm-hmm. They pretend and demonstrate that they are now mature. They are now big. They can decide for their own. They can take charge. Mm-hmm. And adult activities that are common, and you find children who now want to be out there driving. Mm-hmm. They want to drive their parent cars or any car. They want to be like their fathers, they want to be like their mothers. Some of them you can go to extremes mm-hmm. and they start doing the things their parents do, eat the things their parents eat, and drink things their parents drink. And this want to justify they're already big enough. They can even Google them and their side effects and they tell you they can be able to mitigate them. They pretend to be adults and handling them becomes difficult mm-hmm. because they even challenge you. Mm-hmm. They also desire to be out of the family social group. 
In other words, they are telling you I'm big enough, I can now extend myself to another group. Mm. To, this can get to the extent of now they want even to join others in terms of groups. They, are more, they start expressing their highs and their lows and their best news, their best moments, not with the family as the traditionally, but they want to share their best and their finest with their newfound social group, which is, which is now outside the family. In other words, I'm too big for this space. I'm too big to be tethered. I want to be let loose. I am a bird that has fledged. I want to go, I have capacities to go, I have capacities to leave. Mm. Now this is a child who has been involved to peer chaos, peer delinquency, and there are chances that they are also involved into criminal activities. There's also a desire for new friends, mm. which who are acquired outside the normal methods that families acquire friends, or teenagers acquire friends. You get friends from everywhere and anywhere. We even have friends outside the county, outside the country, mm -hmm. outside the continent. Mm -hmm. We have friends outside their age groups, outside their social circles, outside their social strata, mm -hmm. outside their class, outside even their permitted gender. You start getting cozy with friends that you don't, the parents might not even approve the, the friends that might not even fit in as it's required of them. Mm. That is, that getting people who are older than them and they are boarding and staying with them and getting influenced by them. Mm. And when they get here, a surest sign of knowing that a child has gone through this and they are up to mischief, up to something bad, the sign is they they their listening skills disappear mm -hmm. or they go so low, they just cannot listen. In other words, their cognitive capacities and their minds are so much bombarded by things beyond their intellect, beyond their social disposition, beyond their psychological makeup, beyond their understanding. Mm -hmm. And for, for that reason, when you talk to them, it's like they are in some setting. They have in, been introduced into some software mm -hmm. that affects the normal development of a child at that age. The milestone is clogged with a lot of things mm -hmm. such that they cannot possibly listen well. Mm -hmm. They don't listen for content. You give an instruction explained point by point, they will not get it. You have to keep on repeating and they still not do it properly. Mm -hmm. You talk to them, you share a concept, they, are not, they don't have the capacity to reflect upon what you said. Mm -hmm. They lack self-awareness when they are listening. They just hear, but it does not work on them. Mm -hmm. They don't, for instance, observe the body language. You say this and you take the words at the face value mm. because they never captured the non-verbal cues simply because they are not keen enough and their skills have really diminished to something very, very low. Mm -hmm. And another thing you'll notice, they don't question, they don't seek clarification. That is by open-ended question or closed question or focused questions, and they cannot even paraphrase, and do not listen for feeling. Mm -hmm. You talk something, and you expect to elicit a certain feeling towards a teenager, and it does not happen. Mm -hmm. Imagine your situation as a preacher, you're talking about hellfire, and people are just at the normal room temperature mode there is a problem. <laughs> this is exactly what happens to teenagers when they get to this level. Okay. They are not attuned to feeling when they are spoken to. Mm -hmm. They simply don't get influence. They don't express the correct feeling 
depending on whatever I said on them. Now, I wanted to add with uh, extreme cases and the signs associated with this, mm -hmm. whereby you need to know that your children or the teenagers are up to something bad, which is in the category of the extreme. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is serious, it is rampant, it is happening, it is now. As early as yesterday, there were children murders in the news. Mm -hmm. A child killed a child. Mm -hmm. We have children disappearances. Mm -hmm. We have children who are in gangs. 15-year-olds mm -hmm. can be able to handle firearms. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is big, this one is bigger. We have children who are involved in defiant spiritual behavior and activities. It's not one, it's not two, it's not isolated. It's something very common. And this one, the signs, Let's look at one by the, some of these extreme cases, highlighting them, homosexuality, defiant spirituality, that is defiant religion, which is extreme, devil worship, mm -hmm. consulting mediums, mm -hmm. quasi-religious political groupings of Sungu Sungu, Mongeke, Wakaliwao, all those. Mm -hmm. Things are involved. Mm -hmm. Then gang membership and uh, violent criminal tendencies. Mm -hmm. This is common, it's happening to children. It might be the child next door. Mm -hmm. And now, this, the signs here, the first and foremost is that these children, because they are, they are already children, regardless of the size of their behavior. They are into identity chaos. They don't even understand themselves. Mm -hmm. A boy who is socialized as a male and a girl socialized as a female, as you can get close at home, a boy socialized as a koyo boy and a girl socialized as a koyo girl properly are now not even aware of their identity. A girl would want to be a boy, a boy would want to be a girl, a boy would want to dress like a girl, a boy would want to have aspiration like a girl, they become chaotic. Mm -hmm. They become selfish. And this can lead to a complete shutdown, like they are transported into to another world. Mm -hmm. They have an outlaw attitude. In other words, they want to negate all the laws and come up with their own understanding of what should be right or what should be wrong. Mm -hmm. This attitude can even bring other behavior whereby they even start questioning the existence of God. And they say their God is something else. My God is Bob Marley. My God is Maradona. Mm -hmm. My God is nature. My God is ICT. They start talking about alien things. Mm -hmm alien life, alien technology, these become extremely weird. Mm -hmm. They don't want anything that has a semblance of law and order and morality. They have their own definitions that are way out of the norm. Mm -hmm. And a dangerous, at the, the most dangerous level, mm -hmm. whatever was secret, previously, as why this journey of acquisition of behavior is now done in the open. Mm -hmm. Since they have, don't care about law and order and norms, mm -hmm. they will openly smoke bangi, mm -hmm. they would openly go to strip joints, mm -hmm. they would openly come with weapons mm -hmm. at home and hide them. Mm -hmm. And whether you know or not, they don't care, they'd openly join their groups and their circle and meet in their den in full view of society. Mm -hmm. They simply don't care and they are not in secrecy anymore to the most things that they kept secret. Mm -hmm. Finally, they decay 
and decline. The sign that they are now full circle is decay and decline. They ignore even basic hygiene and grooming. They don't take showers, they don't comb their hair, they don't wash clothes. Some of them don't even wear shoes. And when they wear, they're just funny ways of wearing things. Mm -hmm. You find a guy with an overall, that is, they are in town walking, and this is a child, a teen, who is brought up properly. Mm -hmm. That decline is a surest sign that now they have gone full circle, and it's time now for rehab-like activity. Mm -hmm. May I add by saying a teen, like I said, it's like a car in an express highway at top speed. Mm -hmm. And the society is leaning towards direction of ruining the team by, by both commission and omission. Mm -hmm. We are at, at currently, we are at a subnormal paradigm where normal things are abnormal. We are in a situation of chaos mm -hmm. where chaotic things look normal. Mm -hmm. And this is the environment we are raising our children. Mm -hmm. And the teen of today is like a sailor in a sea of turmoil without requisite navigation gear mm -hmm. or equipment or a guiding star. Mm -hmm. We are living in a situation of new world order, mm -hmm. technological revolutions, mm -hmm. and children's rights taken out of way because they are not designed to be rights, but they were designed largely to be traps. Mm -hmm. This is the situation we are raising the teens. This is the area the parents are raising their children. Mm -hmm. This calls for action, proactive action. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kabi. And um, our viewers, you had the signs that will tell you something is amiss. I promise I'll bring uh, Kabigo in a week's time on what solutions are available for you. I want you to listen to these signs, get to know them, ask questions, and next week I'll bring Kabi back to tell us what is it that you need to do as a parent if you realize that your children or your teenagers are having these signs. Uh, thank you very much, Kabi. That was great. I must say that I've learned that. Our viewers and our parents, you have learned something. And check out next week for the second episode of this, how do you deal with your teenagers if you realize they have this kind of signs. Thank you very much. Uh, like this video, share this video, help as many parents as you can, and ask a question. Ask us a comment, ask us a question, and I'll bring Kabi next week for more. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Are you looking for a consultant, a trainer, or a motivational speaker? Well, Look no further. Our team is competent in implementing team building and training programs for various clients. We work with you to identify your needs, assess your employees' skills design, and implement the most appropriate approach to deliver. Our approach is founded on a well-thought process, including a post-training phase and evaluation phase to assess the training. We are experts in team building, motivation talks, and matters of leadership and strategy. Call us and see the difference.